My name is Kai Jen Xiao, and I'm the CTO at Mayfield. My background is in robotics. I've been doing robotics since I was an undergrad, and I did my PhD at MIT in robotics. So home robots are insanely complicated. The team that's been building Curry has a lot of experience from a lot of different robotics companies. They've been building all sorts of different robots, from humanoid robots to farming robots. So it's only recently that a lot of the technologies and tools that are needed to build home robots like the ones we're trying to build have become cost-effective enough for people to put together into home robots like ours. In the home robot space, there have been primarily toys and pure utility robots. What we're trying to do is somewhere in between, something that can autonomously drive around your home by itself, know where it is in your home and what your home looks like, and be able to recognize humans and pets and react to them in intelligent ways, and trying to make it cheap enough such that we can actually sell to consumers is a very tough problem. We very purposely wanted to set expectations reasonably for Curry because we don't think that artificial intelligence is at a point where you can really carry on very intelligent common sense conversations with a robot. Whereas our robot makes beeps and bloops and is really cute, sets expectations more like that of a dog, say, a pet. It's such a simple thing, but actually the thing I'm most proud of is Curry's eyes. A lot of different robots that you see that are in our space are using screens for the eyes. And I decided that it would actually look more lifelike, more compelling if the eyes were actually physical eyes that could blink and smile. And I think it's worked out really well. So the moment when it really gelled for me is when we had these three young girls come to visit. And they were, I think, five, seven, and nine. And they came in and saw the robot and they were just completely delighted. One of the girls kept petting the robot to make it look up at her and she just did it over and over and over again and thought it was the cutest thing ever. And one of them was saying, oh, I really want to be a robotics engineer to make robots like this and to do really cool things. And that's when I realized like this, this could be a big thing and kids really love it and it can inspire lots of kids to, to want to do robotics.